Good morning. It's out and about on the Appalachian Trail, day 46, having another slow morning. Just drinking coffee and hot chocolate again. Um, thinking, so I'm about 18.7 miles to the hostel that I'm going to stay at, but I don't have reservations there until Friday and it's Wednesday, or sorry, and it's Thursday. So I might hike about seven miles in or hike as far as I can until I get cell phone service and just shoot them a text and see if they have room tonight. And if they do, I'll just hike there and go there today. That'd be three nights in a row at the same place, but um, yeah, it just, it sounds fine to me. It's super affordable. It's like 35 or 40 bucks or something per night um, in the bunkhouse. So yeah, I'll let you know what they say and if I go there or not. And if I do, I'll show you the alpacas already today. And if not, then you'll see them tomorrow. Good morning and we'll talk right. to you soon. We are out on the trail. Um, just a quick note. I, the last couple nights that it wa was not raining, I kept my shoes outside the tent, just under the vestibule. Um, I'm like, I'll check if there's like a snake or something in it before I put it on just to get them aired out. And this morning there was mouse poop in my shoe. So I also felt, I thought there was a mouse in my tent last night. I got up to the bathroom at like 4 a.m. Um, and went back in my tent, got all zipped up and I felt like along the foot end of my tent and heard like rustling, like something running on it. Um, it's like, oh my God, when I went to the bathroom, I just left my tent unzipped. It was so quick, but I'm like, if a freaking mouse got in here, uh, it was not, but I think there was one outside my tent last night might have startled it so I guess it just likes the smell of my shoes <laughs> I don't know I don't mind it as long as they, they don't get in my tent I don't mind them running around my shoes at night so that was a fun story from last night all right these may apples are getting so much bigger that is huge compared to what it was you can just see like my hand now the leaves are huge there's still an apple in there some there it is under there my phone does not want to there we go there it is they're huge and they're everywhere so we've got kind of just a plush forest lush not plush a lush forest um right here today on this walk um, just a quick update. I actually did text the alpaca farm and they do have an opening tonight. So I am going to go all the way there. It's about 18.7 miles from where I was camping to get to the road that I turn on to get to the farm. So that's today's plan. We'll see Here you soon. Here goes all the kids off to school. They're going into Marion. I'm going to keep walking to the alpaca farm. All right, just left my backpack up there. Coming to find some water. Got some signage here. Hoping there's something flowing. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're good. All right, I'm eating a fig bar. Um, Honestly, the worst thing about sitting down and like taking everything off, I'm just like full on sitting down is like, getting back up it's really hard like physically it's very difficult <laughs> everything hurts so bad after you sit down it's crazy um but i think we only have like a mile and a half up and then i pretty much just have like six miles kind of winding down into town so that would be great um i was gonna say something i'm already forgetting no no, this is pointless. That's what I meant to say. I have not yet. Oh, I'm put sunscreen on. That'd be too late. But we'll see. And I've not yet finished Game of Thrones. That is still. We're getting there. We have like two hours left of listening time. So I have seven miles. I'll get it done. I'm getting it done. Today's the day. Woo! Okay.
Okay, bye. For our first view of the day. Now this is most of what we see today is the green tunnel of rhododendrons and dead leaves. But you know what? It's a pretty nice break from the sun, I will say. Good idea. We've got a little church register. So we're in a church. Or no, a schoolhouse, not yeah, a church. So, oh no, you're good. I'm just reading the little... Okay, one-room schools in Southwest Virginia. Wow. Wow. And then we've got a bunch of kind of trail magic back here. I got an orange. I'm going to fill up my hand sanitizer and get on the road. All right. Okay, so yes, that was a schoolhouse. What's really cool about that place is um, kind of like a museum. There's a different museum nearby as well, I believe. But yeah, you can camp inside and outside um, of that museum, of that schoolhouse. You can sleep in the schoolhouse. So if it were to be bad weather or cold, it's like a perfect little shelter to take. Um, I think I still have three miles to get to the road. And I heard there's a rest Mexican restaurant. And if I see it, I'm going in, I'm getting dinner, do a quick dinner before I walk over up that road, off the trail to the alpaca farm. So we'll see you soon. Hopefully eating Mexican. Adios. I have a feeling that that is where I'll be headed tonight, but I'm gonna follow the trail. We'll see if that's true. I, I know it's a red barn, but you know what? There could be a lot of those out in these here meadows. That's an interesting shaped house. Look at this. How do I zoom? Look at that. Interesting little layout there. You're getting sun at all times of the day. Okay, sorry. Zooming back out, walking back on the trail. We will talk to you soon. All right, El Burrito Loco for dinner. Going to get me a chimichanga. Here's a beautiful view from the bunkhouse. All right, that's a wrap on day 46. We're just in the bunkhouse. Um, it's me and two other people here tonight. It's really, really quiet. Tomorrow I'll do a little tour of the actual place. Um, I'll, I'll get the bunkhouse, I'll get outside, I'll get the alpacas. It's so amazing. <laughs> I think everyone here will love it. So stay tuned tomorrow and we'll give you a full farm tour.